Hello, my name is Amanda Thomas with Ultima.com. We are here at the Thera High School on December 1st, 2023 for the matchup between the Melbourne Bearcats and the Thera Bobcats. Hello, my name is Amanda Thomas and I am here with Jason Donahue, Shaylee Peterson, Easton Pitts, Ron Spencer, Aiden Burns, Brandon Burns, uh, Devin Harrington, Mark Spencer. In a tournament or when playing several games on consecutive days, how do you refocus as a team without an extra day or two between the games? Um, before games in the locker room, we all like have fun in the locker room and listen to music. Just go back to the hotel and uh, eat some pizza and play some Fortnite. You know, me and Easton sleep together and he likes to cuddle me all the time and that actually makes me like, feel so much better about everything. I usually just get like ramen noodles and like Gatorade and stuff and eat it in the hotel room and I'm good the next morning. Just lay down and get lots of rest. Uh, Steve normally takes us to some like really creepy gas station in the middle of the night. So we just get our protein from there and then sleep together pretty much. Occasionally Easton breaks the box. For me it's uh, Fortnite. Fortnite's the best recovery. How do you get control of the tempo early on in the game? Well, we just focus and stay together. And a lot of support from the bench too. Uh, you know, probably just give Aiden the ball, let him go to a couple bucks, just let everything expand from there, honestly. But me on the top of the press and we got freaking clamps, I promise you that. I'm just going to say give Aiden the ball and let him do his thing. Um, just do what we've been doing in practice, do what we rehearsed. Um, put me in the corner and I won't miss. Uh, continue to execute on offense and get that dude the ball when he needs it. When you're down by 10 or more points, who's the player that holds everything together or is it collectively as a team? Usually collectively. It's collectively. We all really want to get back in the game. It's collectively as a team. We can all handle the ball pretty well. i got to say both, but I think me. No, it's definitely both. We, we definitely hold it together on defensive end and handle the ball really well as a team, too. As a team. I'm going to say both, but, you know, sometimes we get up by 10, we start jacking them. So, I mean, it just depends. Definitely Heath Combs. For you football players, being a multi-sport athlete, how do you transition from one sport to the next, like football to ba basketball? Uh, I mean, it's really hard. It's a tough thing to do. Uh, you just got to get in the gym. Like <laughs> Our first week in here, uh, we probably were the worst basketball team in the state coming from football. But you just got to get in the gym. Uh, it's just really hard to go from football to basketball. Shooter always going to be a shooter. Hello, my name is Amanda Thomas, and I am here with... Matt Pitts, head coach of the Thayer Bobcats. You were only a couple points away from going to the championship game last year. Have you kept or gotten rid of anything in training the team? You know, that's something, I mean, we, you know, they learn from that to say that we address it all the time, no, but there's always things you have to work on. And, and the biggest thing is just making the right play all the time, making the right basketball play, doing the right thing. And, uh, you know, as far as harping on that particular situation, it's just wanting to get to where we do the right thing all the time. What have you been emphasizing this year to the team? Uh, defense and rebounding like always and you know becoming closer as a group because sometimes with expectations it becomes harder and I think they need each other more now than they've ever needed each other so we just try to try to grow as a group um, and as a team. Thank you.